COVID-19 patients will have to bear the burden of all the costs of isolation and treatment from bed charges to food expenses, medicine and other services depending on how long individuals remain hospitalized. At the Kenyatta University Referral Hospital, several patients who have recovered have been detained for failing to pay their bills that have now accumulated for several weeks. These invoices shared by some of them reveal that the hospital is demanding an average of between 50,000 shillings to 100,000 shillings and in some cases more before they are discharged. In answering a question that was raised during a parliamentary health committee session, Health CS Mutai Kawe said patients will carry the burden of the individual treatment costs for COVID-19, whether in private or public hospitals. A message echoed by Health CS Rashid Aman during the daily briefing on the status of COVID-19. The directive right now is that if you are in quarantine, if you are placed in quarantine, then you are responsible for, for the cost of quarantine. And that happened when we stopped the travel, international travel, and we had a lot of passengers who came in. But we have gone through that phase. Most of these passengers have been released. Kenyatta University Referral Hospital CEO John Wekesa had previously said the government only caters for COVID-19 testing. All other costs are to be incurred by individual patients. And as the KU referral hospital continues to demand their dues, the affected patients are questioning why the facility has refused to accept the National Hospital Insurance Fund card and instead insisted on payment through direct remittances. Makori Citizen TV, Nairobi.